Hello Amigans, welcome to another update on the new game engine that's in development for the Vampire V4. Um, got a few things to go through, through today. Firstly you'll notice um, we've got a video capture card now doing a direct video recording from the output of the V4 which is what you're seeing now. And uh, in the last few weeks there's been quite a number of changes under the hood to the to the object management and object loading and data loading and graphics loading and all that sort of stuff. Um, and along with that we've implemented some uh, a basic implementation of 16-bit music and sound and we wait for the next update of the uh, the V4 core uh, which has some changes to the 16-bit um, audio, some exciting changes uh, coming along there. Um, and we'll finish off that once um, once that core comes through. We've got some new ship artwork uh, and some uh, new AMUX effects, which I'm pretty excited to to show you. Um, right, so let's get into it. First thing you'll notice, we've got some loading music now. Uh, while we load up the various assets in the background. And then we come into the, uh, the main game screen, which should look fairly familiar. Now the first thing I want to go through really is the, the new artwork on the ship. Um, and you'll notice it's now uh, animated rather than static, and that really brings the whole thing to life. So it's um, actually absolutely gorgeous art, artwork here by Cartoon Monkey. So that's um, visually um, absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so the next... Um, component to talk about really is, is the AMMX effects which uh, I've been working on. Now you'll see, uh, well you'll, you'll recall uh, when shooting bullets like this, um, used to be a pixel art flash in front of the muzzle so I've removed that because we've now implemented some, some glow effects and uh, these really do add, add a lot to the, to the game. So here's without effects and I turn the effects on and we've got this beautiful glow uh, coming out the muzzle. And that's um, makes it look absolutely fantastic in terms of the the um, sort of punchy spark front. And because we've we've got basically full um, full 16-bit uh, range of colours uh, to do this um, this effect on, uh, we, we end up with a nice smooth gradient across the globe um, using a Gaussian distributed. Point spread function basically to um, provide that glow at the front so you, you can't see any pixelation or anything whatsoever. It looks absolutely fantastic. And some other subtle effects you might uh, might be able to see going on there. So that looks really good, really pleased with that. Um, and if you recall last time, I'm just going to turn off uh, AMX rendering. So last time we have um, we had a flame, pixelated flame, just running like this. Um, and you'll see that um, a solid flame, we've got the black, black board around there because of the CPU rendering, um, not, not using any AMMX functions. Um, now with the AMX functionality, you've basically got some additive transparency around this flame and you'll see when I turn it on uh, now, we have this beautiful transparent flame effect. Uh, coming out the back, it looks absolutely stunning going across, uh, going across objects and really just adds a almost lifelike glow to the to the engine flame. So uh, that's the um, you know, full effect of AMX and operate AMX in operation here. Really, just um, adding so much more to the game, and um, I guess more importantly, doing it fast as well. So um, doing this in CPU would would bring it to its knees, really, uh, bring the engine to its knees. Um, and the last effect I've got to show you today is a new effect we've just got on the um, on the weapons. So I'm just going to change uh, to this here. So I'm going to just switch it back to uh, disabling Amy, Amy Mix. So I'm going to shoot this uh, these lasers. And this is what it was last time. Just simple, simple orange and yellow lines. If I uh, turn on the effects and just uh, draw with CPU what I want to sh what I'm actually rendering is this this blue blue ball on top of the laser and what I've done now is take this and I've turned it into an effect um, a basically a uh, animated transparency glow effect and 
you'll see when I turn it on, I'll turn on the next run here. Um, sorry, wrong key, turn on this run here. You'll see an absolutely stunning glow effect occurring on top of this laser. And um, again, there's um, pretty much no CPU demand on this. It's um, absolutely looks absolutely fantastic. It means that we can basically have all sorts of um, ice, fire, electrical type effects uh, on top of the weapons or, or, or on top of um, any item really. But you can see it just looks absolutely gorgeous. So we see a lot of visual enhancements here from using AMMX uh, to provide some, some, I guess, stunning graphics which um, basically wouldn't be possible uh, on, on classic Amigas. Not, not certainly at the frame rate and the resolution that the game is running at. So um, that's where we're up to. Uh, there's a lot more to do. You'll see we've just got some uh, text uh, rendering on screen this morning. I uh, got that up and running so we can see all the stats and various bits and pieces as we develop the engine. Alright, that's enough for today. Um, we'll catch you next time.